So hey guys, um, today we are going to talk about how you need to purchase an RXZ. <coughs> okay. So uh, the RXZ four speed and five speed are the variants which came in India. The four speed actually had a four speed um, cylinder block and the gearbox. Uh, plus the engine covers were also different but the um, five speed actually came uh, with a different uh, cylinder box uh, gearbox and engine cover also had a front disc setup so we will talk about how or what you need to look at while buying a rxz um, so we'll cover the five speed first and in between i'll also keep on telling you what the four speed has okay so we'll start from the front uh, the front for a five speed has a disc brake so i'll go on the other side <coughs> okay so it had this kind of a uh, disc setup and it had uh, these type of forks so look at these forks very specifically they are very uh, unique and different then it had um, caliper um, the telltale sign of an original rxz is uh, one of the piston is bigger than the other piston so one piston would be smaller the other piston would be little bigger okay uh, had plastic mud guard in the front uh, so when you're looking to buy one first thing that you need to look is is the condition of the tire uh, also the size on the uh, front tire was 2.5 uh, I have an upsize I have a 2.75 then look at the condition of the rim the spokes so if the spokes are or the rims are rusted then you might need to attend that so let me get the little mechanic on the bike okay so now you sit there and don't make noise okay so the next thing that you need to check um, in an rxz is the number plate so the number plate uh, in an rxz is slightly different from the rx 135 so i'll go underneath so you can see it is like this in an rx it bolts uh, you know into the forks the nuts uh, are you know phased outward this had a nut, nut faced upward so that is one originality that you need to look at look at the condition of the brake hose if it is like uh, a little rusty and bad then probably that is something that you need to replace uh, then you need to look at the front headlight uh, dome so the dome that i have right now is uh, the new type dome or the clear dome that is not something that is preferred and uh, i hope i don't get demonetized for that song that bingo song which is going on in the background sorry <laughs> getting distracted a bit so then the next one that came in had uh, the uh, not clear glass then the third option that people use is they use the type 2 omini uh, headlight so you can see it on all three configurations uh, then it is the mask so one thing that you can check is you can rock the mask like this so if it is rocking that means there is no uh, clamp underneath so there is a clamp that comes underneath so that you need to check for then uh, look at the condition of the visor if it is too much crash then you might have to change that then the visor beading what i have here is not the original beading so if you're looking for originality do look for that um, indicators obviously then when you come on this side you can see uh, the five speed speedometer has a fifth gear also so make sure uh, that is there make sure all the lights on the pilot light glows make sure the oil level light is also glowing 
the RPM is working. Uh, those are the things. Then mirrors, the mirrors that you see here are from Auto Bird. These are KB100 mirrors. But uh, let's say the original ones will have Alpha Toyo mirrors. So that you need to look at uh, this switch is common to yeah common to a libro crux uh, the only difference is the one that you will have in an original rx z5 speed won't have this starter button so this would be blank the rest it will look exactly the same um, look at the master cylinder this is uh, master cylinder from a um, I think yeah this is from a gladiator so uh, the one from the RXZ will have the Yamaha writing on it let me see if I can put a picture on the screen uh, then look at the overall condition of the accelerator cable check the switch gear completely if it is working so and then another thing that you need to look at is the um, tightness of the handle just rock the handle sideways and check if it is moving freely also you can do the same start the bike and rock the handle so if the acceleration goes up or down that means your cable is short and you need a new cable next thing that you need to look at is the tank so I'll show you so this is the petrol tank if you look inside uh, let's see if it focuses make sure there is no rust uh, and don't close it like this always make sure you turn it and then close it otherwise this area will get dented okay so next big thing is the engine um, there are two type of crash guards that came with this bike one is the butterfly type and the second one is uh, the straight bar i like the look of the straight bar on an rxz so that's what i have put so make sure you have what you like otherwise you will be buying that then is the cylinder head uh, that i let's talk about the engine in general so the cylinder head um, basically you cannot guess whether it's a, a two stroke or five i mean uh, four speed or a five speed just by looking at it so you have to make sure that uh, you have to take the head off to check whether it's a um, four speed or a five speed but the cylinder you can make out if you can see um, let's see if it focuses okay so you can see that 4TL10 written there so that is the uh, five speed block uh, also another thing that you can check to see if it's a uh, converted bike or an original bike the number for uh, an original 5 speed bike will start with uh, 1 5 and um, I think 0 4 4 those are the two codes that would mean that it's an original 5 speed okay uh, make sure this number matches with the chassis number over here so let's see so there is a chassis number over here um, so make sure this matches that also um, if you look at the chassis number it already has the uh, 98 written this is actually a 98 model so that is there look at the overall condition of the seat uh, next uh, we'll come back to the engine in a while because there is some more stuff to be discussed so another thing that you need to check if uh, this key opens everything so this ignition then there is uh, something here um, the new lockets don't have the key for that so make sure this uh, lock you can open from this mine doesn't because this is from the old lock set the new one doesn't come with the lock and then obviously this bit so yeah that works because i changed that okay so there is a lever here 
so if you pull that you can open the seat uh, you need to do it on both the sides okay so now that the seat is off there are a couple of things that you can look at over here one is this is kind of a document holder so make sure that is intact on the bike uh, this is where most of the tools would be like uh, the funnel the tool kit etc so make sure that is also there uh, after that this washer is kind of important mine is not original so this is the shape of the washer that will come so take a look at that also if that is there so this bike actually has a original chain sprocket from a 5 speed uh, you cannot verify that but you can definitely verify the condition of the chain by opening this cover uh, or you can hopefully see the chain there it is greased and cleaned so nothing to worry about that also uh, coming back to the engine uh, the carburetor if it's a 5 speed it should say 4 TL20 so this one says 4 TL20 I hope you guys can read it yeah there you go uh, the covers for this bike is from an RX King so it is slightly different the engine cover for the original Indian RXZ uh, will be slightly different uh, the cylinder kit here is an E2 series okay uh, so now some specific things about the uh, 5 speed so the 5 speed will have a catalytic converter so this one has a golden one because i painted it in golden color this is a limited edition uh, catalytic converter that only came in uh, some of the bikes there is also one more thing that you need to look at most of the guys don't check that is the cover is different for four speed and five speed the engine cover so this cut would be a little bit more here plus the five speed engine cover is a little bit more wider so what you get these days is obviously four speed so it won't be wide um, another thing is the speedometer worm actually uh, you can use either the rxz or you can use the gladiator one they are the same uh, the brake pads you can use from a r15 v2 so that's pretty much about it let's come to the rear uh, standard stuff tail lights make sure all work then this plastic uh, rear mud guard uh, check for the condition of the shocks uh, also another thing you know I'm, I'm not going in a particular order now i know but as and when i remember i'll show you guys so the five speed footrest has this double layer so as you can see that you make sure it is the brake pedal that i have in my bike is from a four speed the five speed will be a little bit more out so that you need to check as well uh, make sure the battery is good everything works uh, if the seller lets you you know probably take apart the bike then you can look at the cdi and other stuff as well um, so yeah that's about it that's how you look for a uh, five speed rxz uh, the difference between a five speed and a four speed the front has uh, drum brakes as the same uh, fork like an rx um, also i didn't get the dust boot covers for this so i'm using the rx dust boot covers uh, i hope her mother doesn't see her sitting on the floor like this otherwise i'll get seriously in trouble so the engine covers on a four speed are also like the rx 135 four speed engine guys they have a uh, tachometer drive so that is how you differentiate between an rx z and rx uh, 135 covers uh, then 
the gearbox I have spoken about, the cylinder I have spoken about, the head, the carburetor. I think I have covered almost everything. Um, so a couple of things that you see, um, converting an RX-135 to an RXZ is not easy. Um, first of all you need a different chassis. Uh, the mounting points are very different so make sure you get the uh, original lizard make sure the tachometer is working otherwise what happens is they might have put a uh, cover or maybe the drilling job is not good because of which it is not going to work so in my case I'll just start the bike so as you can see the tachometer is working it's idling around 1300-400 so that is working the lights you can check indicator works front and back and then you have this side indicator it is also working back as well let's see if the brake light works brake light is also working as you can see uh, I don't have a front brake switch that I didn't connect because the switch kind of broke and got stuck inside so I'll have to get one new one so yeah now let's talk about the condition of the engine so you don't listen to the engine at the silencer you always listen to the engine here so as you can see you can hear the piston going up and down uh, and you accelerate see there is no unwanted noise uh, another top tip what you can do is uh, let me wear a slipper first otherwise I'll end up burning my leg so you cover the silencer like this ok now you can hear the piston majorly this you can do in uh, all the RX bikes you can cover the silencer with your foot and then ask somebody to accelerate it um, so you should technically hear only the piston noise and nothing else so if other noises are coming that would mean that uh, there is engine issues and always make sure that you listen to engine issues at the engine not at the exhaust okay so that's about it I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video uh, I'll make more such videos as time progresses so thanks a lot for watching have a great day bye bye